Consider the lives of those who live with mental illness and addiction, those most in need of innovative new treatments, moments of human compassion, the end of stigma. Now, reimagine care by integrating medical and mental health services, by connecting research, education, and clinical excellence in a shared space, by letting the light shine in. Welcome to the new Margaret and Charles Juravinsky Center for Integrated Healthcare. Together, we're renewing the promise of healthcare for the 21st century. This is the embodiment of a completely new way of thinking about and delivering care to people who are facing mental health challenges, and that touches all of us. People who are facing both addiction and mental health issues being treated with one plan of care, with one team of providers. So that focus on the patient, what does this patient need and how are we collectively gonna provide that care is fantastic. Today we celebrate the opening of a place that's filled with hope, that's designed to break down barriers. I think one of the indicators is how much light this building is filled with. This building was designed to of itself be a, be a healing space and for the patient's rooms in particular. Just being in an inspiring space inspires people. It's a place where everyone can receive the highest quality of care with dignity and respect. You come into an event like today and everyone's excited, waiting for the next person to arrive and sitting here and listening to all the speeches and everyone just spoke so well. Good morning, friends. My name is Candace and I'm an addict. Today I can say these words with pride but there was a time in my life when these words were filled with guilt and shame. Candace told her story. She brought to light exactly what we're here for. When I was 16 years old, I was offered cocaine, and then I was offered crack, Then my life changed forever. I was seeing things, and I was hearing voices. I thought my family was conspiring against me. And out of sheer desperation, it was then that I found St. Joseph's Healthcare Womankind Addiction Service, who embraced me and loved me when I wasn't able to love myself. I was greeted with open arms, treated with dignity and respect. We have tons of people to thank and tons of people to acknowledge, but at the heart of why we're here was Candace and her story. Today, because of the incredible care that I received from the staff of St. Joseph's Healthcare Hamilton, I am a productive and contributing member of society. And best of all, I am now a very proud member of the wonderful team of clinicians here at St. Joseph's West Fifth Campus. Today I know that I went through all the things that I did because I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. If I can help somebody, that's all that matters. There's a wonderful evolution happening in healthcare and in mental health care. It's a wonderful day for the city of Hamilton. It's a wonderful day for the people that are gonna be serviced by this wonderful facility. A lot of people can build buildings. What we're building is a system of thinking that's gonna change the way that people get treated. The enthusiasm of the people that are behind it the leadership that got us to this point is absolutely tremendous and it's very exciting to think about what will happen over the next 10 years. Patient care areas, research and education, supported through donations, large and small, a powerful symbol of a community's embrace of this centre, part of a renewed promise of health care for our community. It's easy for society to celebrate the wealthy, the beautiful, the athletic and the powerful. But for me, the real measure of a society is how it treats the disadvantaged. In healthcare, in fact, for us as a people, how we treat our mentally ill is a measure of us as compassionate humans. It's a faith in people that's been here since 1836. We take that and we add to it the new concepts and the best research in what mental health and physical health requires. And so we put it all together in one building to take healthcare forward. Seeing it actually happen from start to finish. The vision, to the planning, to the architecture. Probably the most important thing that changed today is the environment in which healing and recovery can happen is keeping pace with the science of healing and recovery. Attracting and retaining the very brightest and best in an infrastructure like this just got a bit easier. It does say something I think to a person to say, we respect what you do so much that we built this great space to help you do it and to help you care for your patients. It really fills you with optimism and hope that things will be changing and moving in the right direction. It was a great day. Will you count with me? One, two, three.